So first of all, congratulations on the re-election. Um, I wanted to update you on what's going on with the smart meter issue. You're probably aware of some things that happened yesterday. We were at the OPUC yesterday. And the frustrating thing, and this is not just me, this is everybody, I was just sitting there and watching Pacific Power and the OPUC feed each other back and forth with lies and still to this day refusing to allow public sessions and public input like New Mexico did. And that's why all the power companies' claims were proved false. And I'm gonna give you one outstanding example of how they just continue to lie and to just berate their rules on top of us that are wrong. When I opened up the meeting with my comments, I showed them, I took quite a bit of time to find this. It's called the UE-263. It's the general fund for Pacific Power that they approved, and it has in there in numerous cases that it says that the $10 million that was allocated for meter reading fees, it's part of their budget. It's always been that way. Well, when they got up there and excluded us from being able to talk, when they finally addressed that issue, because they had it on their discussion with Pacific Power, they said, well, we can use that money for anything else we want to, other expenses that have increased. We don't have to use it for that. And we can charge these people that don't want these computerized invasive meters. Now we know that they do have a fire risk. We know they have some RF issues, but if nothing else, the fact that they're forcing the RF on your home, pulsing all day long, that we know we should have a choice, but they're saying you don't have a choice because you're gonna pay $36 and why? Because we can't put that onto the other people. Well, they're already getting that $10 million. They're not gonna, they're not gonna use that. They're gonna charge us to come read our meters an extortive fee. We can't charge that on the people that got the smart meters and don't have to have theirs read, but they won't let us tell them, well, what about the fact that those meters cost $300 instead of $50? Why isn't that expense being put on them and not on us? Their meters have to be replaced every five years. They become obsolete. They have other expenses, the infrastructure, putting up antennas and all the expenses for that smart grid. Why are they putting that on us that don't want it? But they won't let us speak. They won't let us present the evidence. And that's why New Mexico rejected it so it's very frustrating so I want to go on a positive note the part of the meeting where they decided to whether or not they were going to sue Josephine County for doing an ordinance to stop the opt-out fees and to offer the people the choice to go back to a non-computerized analog they voted una unanimously to sue Josephine County it's exactly what they want Josephine County wanted that's why they did the ordinance that is a positive thing we need to take this to a legal battle and that's why we're asking you to join in. We also have uh, activists working in Lynn County up in the Brownsville area. We have activists now in Eugene. I met with them and they are now going to be going to their county commissioners to ask the same thing and educate them. We went, met with a group in Coos County last week. Over 70 people showed up for a town hall and they are now working on protesting and talking to their commissioners and one of their commissioners, Bob Main, was there. A very positive results from him. He's already been suing the AG and winning. So he's very proactive about fighting illegal legal things like this. So I've got a copy of the new ordinance, the updated ordinance that I'll leave for you from Josephine County. But the point is that what can we do as a, as a community? If you understand the issue, and that's what I want to spend the last couple of minutes here talking about, is what is the issue here? Why are we standing up? Even though there's not enough people standing up, many more should be. What is the central issue and why are we dragging you into it? Now you know you're supposed to protect us. We've talked about this before. It's your job. You, you guys feel very strongly about that. We all agree that you're supposed to protect your citizens. Here's the heart of this, and here's what we're finding out. The reason the lawsuits have been losing is because they're focusing on the RF harm. Simon Hare said, we can't win this fighting the medical issues, and I agree. Even though they're real, you can't win it in a case like that. What you can win is the fact that our homes are protected by the Fourth Amendment. They are forcing a device on our home out of our control, a computerized device. We're not allowed to touch it. A lady just got convicted in North in South Carolina for removing the smart meter and putting an analog meter on her home because of the tampering laws. Tampering laws were never enacted to allow the company to force invasive harmful devices on your home. It was, we know why the invasive laws were put on, I mean, the, 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 um, the laws that said you can't tamper with it and all that, we know why they did that, but they're being misused. So what are we gonna do? They're forcing a computer on our home that can be upgraded. Their cheapest digital meter, I looked it up, I can give the specs on it. It's upgradable to a full-blown smart meter. A smart meter is not a meter that transmits RF. Yes, that is one feature of smart meters. A smart meter is a meter that records what you're doing in your home 24 hours a day and then turns
turns it into the power company in detail. They know exactly what you're doing all day long. Their cheapest digital meter that they're offering to put on for $169 is fully upgradable to a full-blown smart meter where it records everything you do, do and turns it in. They have optical outputs and other ways to read the information. So I'm just asking Joseph Jackson County to please, please look at this seriously. Join with Josephine County and the other counties that we're going to bring in. We're going statewide. We're not stopping. We are going to keep going and get all the counties we can to join in with, with Je Je Josephine County to do an ordinance and to join in the legal battle. Wally Hicks says you can join together on the legal battle. So thank you. Thank you.